Yo guys, what's up? Sheree here with a video for you that I have never done before. I've never done this kind of video today. Today, I went to the Asian market. It's like my favorite place right now. I love it there and I get food because I make a ton of Korean food, Asian food in general, at home recently. Or like my own versions of them. And so I go there like once a week and get groceries. And I thought I would actually do a grocery haul for what I got this week. So we're just gonna get right down into what I got and I'll kind of explain how I plan on using it and stuff. I'm super stoked for what I got, so let's get into it. First off, we're just gonna go through some easy stuff. I got two different types of rice cakes. Yes, this one I use in soups mostly. And this one I use for tteokbokki. It says even right there, like for tteokbokki. <laughs> Yeah, so I that's what I use these for, and I use them a lot. I love freaking rice cakes, they're amazing. I also got, this is, I haven't gotten this before. It's, what is it? You use it for seaweed soup, which I have not made before, but I really want to make it, so I got this dried seaweed to make seaweed soup with, so I'm really excited. It's actually a really healthy soup, so I got this to make it. I Maybe I should film a video of me trying to make that. That would be funny. This is another thing I got that I haven't gotten before. So it's kimchi stew. It's like kimchi jjigae. And I've been planning on making this on my own, but I've just never been able to get the right ingredients right now. Like I just, I, and I haven't had a lot of time, so I just decided I would try this because just why not? Just get it and try it and see what happens. I know it's not like authentic Korean, but you know, you just gotta work with it sometimes. So I got this and I'm going to try it. I'm excited. It should, it should be good, I think. But I'm gonna make a better version because I, I really do make a lot of stuff my my own. I don't just like get prepackaged stuff. That was just because I saw it and I was like, why not? I want kimchi jjigae sometimes. So the next thing I got was like my favorite thing ever, guys. It's like the best, and it is this. <laughs> this is pickled radish. It's like a yellow pickled radish. I this is one of my favorite favorite like Korean side dishes, whatever. It's so good, you just cut it up into slices and you just eat it with food. I just think it goes good with everything and I love this. So I'm super happy that I got it. It says keep refrigerated, so I better finish this haul quickly. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it's really, really good. The next thing that I got was medium firm tofu. I love tofu ever since going to Korea and China. They just know how to make it taste good. In America, I feel like we don't know how to make it taste very good, but like Asia, they know how to make it taste good. So I got it and it's like super healthy. Yeah, and it's super cheap. It's like $1.50 for a lot of tofu. So got some tofu. Um, next, I got some sesame oil pure. 100% sesame oil, I guess. Uh, this is the, this isn't, my mom says this is a Korean kind. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Cause I was like, there's freaking Chinese. That's not Korean, but. Cause I was running out. Sesame oil was just like, you need it. You need it in so many dishes, so I got some sesame oil. What did I get next? I got, oh my gosh, citron tea, yu da ta. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this stuff so much and I found it, it was quite expensive. It was $9 for this whole thing in Korea. I got one of these for like $4.50. But you know, um, my mom let me get it and oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love citron tea so much. I think it tastes amazing. So this stuff is going to be so, so amazing. So I'm really happy that I got this huge outcome. Finally, I'm really happy with the last thing that I got. And it is, it's huge guys, I know, but it's radish, cube radish kimchi. This is one of my favorite kimchis. And I kinda just want, I'm tempted to just eat it right now, but I don't have chopsticks, that's my only excuse. But it's so good and, oh, it's so amazing and it's huge. It's like big as my face, bigger probably. So I'm super stoked. This was $9, so it was quite expensive, but I hope, I hope it will last me a while. I guess we'll see what happens. That's what I got at the Asian market. My local Asian market is really close to my house. So it's super great. I can just go there. The people are so nice and I can ask them any questions about anything. That's what I got. The total of everything that I got was about $46. So it was kind of expensive, but my mom actually like pays for most of what I eat because I live at home. Um, I just owe her like $20 because this was more of an expensive time around. But like the Utah Ta and the, the radish kimchi so should last a while. This is, this is my most expensive haul. Usually I spend like, like 15 to 20 dollars, maybe 25, but I just got some other things that I haven't gotten before and just got some things that will last me a while. It all just depends on what you're making and what you want. Um, uh, so I got everything. 
today. That's what I got. If you would like me to like take you to my Asian market, show you around, let me know what I thought of the other video. More vlogs will be coming up soon. And just a quick update. A lot of you guys ask me, when do you go back to Korea and stuff like that? I am going back at the end of February because the semester doesn't start until March 2nd. And I'm staying until the end of June. So I'll be making a lot more videos there. And I plan on making a lot here before I go back. I only have like 50 days left of this. So I'm stoked. I'm so excited, guys. You have no idea. <laughs> But I'm still going to make a lot of videos here. I have a lot that I filmed in Korea that I'm going to post on this channel as well. So be looking out for those. Also, just thank you for all your support on my videos and on this channel and everything. You guys are awesome. So thank you. Seriously, it means the world to me. Just let me know what you want to see more of. That would be great. I'm going to go eat some radish kimchi, if I'm honest. I'm really feeling that. Alright guys, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said again, if you want me to like do like Asian snack food haul or stuff like that, just different things, me trying random Asian snacks. If you'd like me to take you to my Asian market, show you around, stuff like that, just let me know. Anyways guys, remember, life doesn't only begin at the end of your comfort zone, it also begins at the end of your comfort zone.